Okay, so the first topic I have is this movie feels like it was made for adults way more than I remember. Nope. You disagree. Nope, I disagree. Okay. Um, no, you you do your place first. Okay, I mean, I don't, I, I, I'll, I'll be interested to hear yours. I have not looked at your notes. Um, I don't know. It's just, like, there's, there's, like, subtext in the dialogue and, like, eye lines and expressions that I feel like are operating on, like, a level of nuance that's kind of more adult. Um, the power dynamics between the chief and the priest, I was like, this, I don't know, this feels like just something that you wouldn't, like, I feel like this whole, like, setup is not, like, super conducive to a kid's movie. Um, the, like, Chell and Tulio's relationship feels, like, way more sexualized than other animated movies. The only thing I will give you is Chell and her design. That's it. I'm not... I think it goes beyond the design, because, like, there are animated characters that are, like, definitely drawn with, like, the animator's fetishes in there. Jessica uh, Rabbit, that, that was the whole point of her, though. Jessica Rabbit, I, I was thinking also probably Lola Bunny and a few Pixar moms. There's been, like, I don't know. All right, the memes, Pixar moms but, is just a meme at this point. Right. But, like, the. Like, the way that, like, they're checking each other out before, like, in, like, some of those earlier scenes is, like, this, this just doesn't feel like it's, like, because, like, you have, like, romance subplots in kids' movies, but they are kind of, like, this feels less, this felt less sanitized in the subtext. Like, just the way they're eyeing each other felt a little bit more, like, this is not, like, I don't know. It felt more explicitly sexualized to me. Um, and then, like, the moral grayness of the characters, too. Like, the protagonists never really, like, suffer consequences for their actions. Like, because I was, I was trying to compare to, like, other kids' movies. And there's plenty where, like, the protagonist is, like, running some kind of con on other characters but they're usually found out and like i mean shark tale is a perfect example where he's lying the whole movie but he gets found out and like they really never like they they do but they don't like they never apologize they never really suffer any consequences for it like by the end i'm like no, they're still, like... They, they have, like, kind of a redemption in the climax where they, like, sacrifice their goal and don't... Like, neither one of them gets what they want. But... I don't know. They also save the city from invasion. Yeah. So, there... There's some level of redemption. Um, and then, last point, like, the scene where... Like, right before the climax, where Miguel is going to stay and Tulio is going to leave. The, like... It's, like, kind of complicated emotions between them, where they're being, like, passive-aggressive to each other. But then they, like, will show their expressions and they're, like, clearly sad about parting ways. Just... It felt a little bit more nuanced than I was remembering or expecting. Um, I, I will give you that it's refreshing, that it's not a liar re liar revealed story I'll, I'll give you that uh chow knows off the bat that really helps not drag down the movie where we don't get a scene where it's like what you're not the gods uh and i don't know when the chief figures it out but by the yeah. end he knows too when he says to miguel's hair is human uh, yeah, like, that was one of the things I, I did remember before this rewatch, where I was like, oh, like, that feels like an intro to subtext, but I feel like that's, like, the most explicit subtext. I feel like there's a lot more other places. Uh, yeah, I, I can't understand why he still goes along with them at that point, though. It feels like something's missing to explain that, 
and I'll get into that in pacing. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll give you the fact that it's not a stereotypical liar revealed story, like, um, <clears throat> like some like it hot, for example. That's just an example that came to mind. Um, and chill. Other than that, nah, it's for kids. It's for kids. I mean, you got the blood in there, but that was to show that gods don't bleed. Other than that. And then Tulio says hell at one point, but, you know, Spider-Verse, you know, it'd be doing things. And Shrek. I mean. And Shrek. I thought Shrek was originally PG-13. Um, well, PG meant something, meant, like, something different in 2000 than it does now. And, you know, I've railed against the rating system plenty at this point. But, like, that was, I think we talked about that. Um yeah. on like the episode we did for it where like every kids movie is PG now this era like you had to I feel like you had a pretty even split and like a marked difference between a G rated kids movie and a PG rated kids movie like this one's yeah. a little scarier it's a little bit like I mean maybe that's why I'm saying that this feels like it's for adults because maybe I've been like retrained by modern kids movies um well the fact that I had an action figure that's a point to me cause you know that it was that that means uh kids uh because it was 2D animated and with DreamWorks striving to compete with Disney uh I think they didn't have a choice but to market it towards children um, also, my biggest point, the comedy falls flat for me at most points in the movie. Uh, I'm an adult, if you can't tell, and this doesn't feel like it would Wait, be for anything. real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm an adult. I'm not three kids in a trench coat, I don't think. Um... In most of the movie, there's moments or silly animations or just goofy things that happen where I raise a brow or just roll my eyes because it feels like it was supposed to make kids laugh. Um, I'll even list some things just so I'm not, doesn't seem like I'm making it up. Uh, them trying to lift the barrel, cover, barrel covers all day, your literal background. That's the uh, thing. That's one of the things my brother and I quote all the time. One, two, three. That's one of the things that we quote back and forth to each other. No judgment. Uh, them kissing and licking the the land, the sand, only to spit the sand out when they find the skulls. I'm just like, all right. Uh, anything they said in their godly voices. Uh, there's there's plenty of more moments and just I, I can't list all of the silly faces or goofy moments that that they make, but. Um, no. Uh, I thought the animal... I thought the the animal companion, the horse... I thought it'd be more annoying than it was given animated movies track record with this. But I think with that note that I'm rereading now, I think that's more of like a recent time thing. Where it's just like, oh, we gotta have another special non-human companion in this movie. Great. Well, I think um, what for, maybe makes it different is that the horse doesn't feel like uh, toy fodder. Like, I, I think a lot of the, like, animal sidekicks are meant to be, like, you get a, you know, stuffed animal version of them. Plus, I don't think yeah. you would do that for a horse. I mean... You might do that with the armadillo. I don't know if they did. Probably. I think Tetzelkan could have been funnier. Um... In what way, I don't exactly know, but I feel like there's a way to make him more memorable than he is. He's the uh, priest, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I think his design is dope. I just think there's something, like, there's a missing something there with him that could make him, like, a standout villain. Um, again, I don't know exactly what it is, but um, I think... 
I, I, I'm pretty sure, because I, I counted, I only laughed two times during this movie. I don't know how many times you laughed. I think the comedy works for me better, but that might be nostalgia, partly. It's possible. I also um, just, I like their, the dynamic between the two leads. I, I think they have a fun dynamic. That's most of it. Okay. Um, it's not like laugh out loud, but it's just, I don't know, I like it. Uh, one of the only times I laughed was when they were getting ready for Chibalba, and Shell says, uh, I think Tulio asks her what it is, and Shell says, it's not going to be good, and he just says, thank you. I, I, I found that funny, because her saying that did not help him. Uh, and the other time is when, uh, I don't even know if it was intentionally supposed to be funny, but Tulio and Miguel saying that the tribe, they, they don't they don't want to see their wrath and then and then Tex Lacan just shouts of course we do <laughs> um, other than that I didn't laugh there is I was noticing this is sort of on topic sort of not there's a lot of like um, bravado from characters in this movie um, between like I- I'm not going to try to pronounce his name the priest and um Tetzel Khan? Or is it Ze- 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 sorry, no, I've been saying Zekel? Tetzel. It's Zekel. Zekel Khan. Zekel. Okay, Zekel Khan. Yeah. I, I that sounds right to me. Uh so I'll go with that. Zekel Khan. Um and uh the two the two leads, like they're they're often like presenting this false bravado, which is kind of a like it's there's a comedic premise called the braggart captain who is like someone who thinks they're good at something but isn't um and i think it's kind of playing into that um the difference is like you don't always like with a braggart captain like sometimes they legitimately believe that they're good at the thing and in this case it's a it's an act um Mm -hmm. but that just does seem to be like the type of comedy that this is playing in i do see you on some of the like when i was saying this feels like it was made for adults i don't deny that there's stuff that is for kids in here um like the animals yes that's there um it does feel uh, my i guess what i was feeling is more just like the construction of the human characters felt a little more um a little more like nuanced than some others and like just the fact that like the central conflict involves like a political power struggle like this is i don't know maybe there's other kids movies that do it that i'm not thinking of it just feels a little bit more like more like something you would see in a non-kids movie. If people disagree, then that's that's fine. I think you've made some good counterpoints against me here. So I'm I'm standing by this point less than I was before. Yeah. Yeah. I did want to ask something cuz you mentioned it before like I was also curious when does the chief know? Because I was trying to track with um, Zekel Khan this time. I was like, does he know from the start and he's just, like, playing along to, like, p- control the people and, like, do all of his, like, religious sacrifices? But there's actually, like, as I was watching, like, he he's a real believer until he sees Miguel bleeding. Um... Like, you can see him getting suspicious, but he... Like, one thing I forgot is when Cortez shows up, he instantly buys him as one of the gods. Um, which I forgot about. Like, he's even still a believer after that. Um, I did wonder if the chief clocks them instantly, or if it, like, takes a while for him. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of textual evidence. No, there isn't. And I, 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 
I don't have an answer for you. Because, like, if it was from the beginning, what purpose does that serve in him... in him going along with these outsiders' plans? Like, giving away the, all of the city's gold. Like, what what does that do for him? We don't know. Um, and at no point in the story do we find... Yeah, we get a bunch of suspicious looks from both the chief and the priest, but like at what point is the audience supposed to know that they know I mean with uh, Zach Crown it's, it's much easier but with the, the chief uh, don't know and then he says the to Ares human line I'm just like oh when did you find out yeah it's it's pretty hard to say and now that you're mentioning that like Maybe he's just not as well constructed of a character. Like he doesn't really have a goal. Ever. Nope. I'll actually speak about that too. In my Okay. Well I'm done with my topic here, so if you want to move into yours. Alright. 